it comes to sewage treatment plants, a lot of Canadians would say, not in my backyard. But there's a community in Nova Scotia that's saying, no problem. As Leslie McKinnon reports, the plant in their neighborhood is clean, economical, and making history. Right in the heart of Bear River, it looks like a conventional greenhouse. It's actually the community's sewage treatment plant, and the residents are proud of it. Well, you can go in there and eat your lunch, and there's not too many sewage treatment plants you can do that. And there's no smell. Oh, I like it. I think it's great. Six dollars and twenty-one. I think it'll be better all as they go along. Get more plants. For years, decades and decades, this is where most of Bear River's sewage went, right into the river. And at first, there was some resistance to even the idea that the village needed a sewage plant. I just live a mile and a half. I'm 78, and I've lived here, and the, nobody's died from being in the river or for pollution that I know of. But most liked the idea of having the first solar aquatic sewage plant in Canada, a chemical-free system that allows nature to use its own biology. Each one of them is a separate ecosystem, and as the water goes from tank to tank, it's being purified um, to a higher and higher level. According to Albert Andrews, whose company built the plant, everything that's flushed down the toilet or poured down the drain, even paint thinner, can be broken down here by nature's janitor, the food chain, starting with bacteria. You have everything ranging from uh, algae to zooplankton to uh, floating aquatic plants, and eventually we'll have some snails introduced to the system that will eat the sludge off the sides of the tank here. The water flows out of the uh, solar pond by gravity. Close to the end of the process, a marsh bed. Its reeds and irises naturally remove phosphorus and nitrates. Nature does this by itself as well, but we've engineered it to work very efficiently within our system here. The county's bylaws officer is being trained to do a few hours a day pruning and testing water. That's all the maintenance the plant needs. There will even be some cost recovery because the ornamental plants lush from being fed on sewage can be sold. I'm looking forward to it. I think it's going to be great. There's going to be a lot of tourists too, you know. It's going to be the, because it is Canada's first. It's not an intrusion visually uh, and uh, the water that uh, comes out the other end is uh, uh, the fish will like it too. This is the water that comes out the final end of the system. As you can see, it's fairly nice and clear. Would you drink that? Uh, yeah, if it was tested, I'd drink it. People here think this might be the technology of the next century, giving back to nature what is taken. Leslie McKinnon, CBC News, Bear River, Nova